Hi, I'm Eric Paul, the Chemistry Guru, and you are watching H2 Chem X, making H2 Chemistry simpler, one video at a time. Hi, in this video what we'll go through is to balance two half equations and to combine them to give us an overall redox equation. Now let's take a look at this example. Now in this case what we have is we have uh, nitromine Cr2O7 2 minus reacting with hydrogen peroxide H2O2 to give me chromium 3 plus and oxygen. What we have to decide first is which is the species that get oxidized and reduced, which we can easily determine by the changing oxidation state of the species. Now, the oxidation state for chromium in dichromate is a plus 6, chromium 3 plus is a plus 3, so I know that there's a decrease in the oxidation state from plus 6 to plus 3. So, therefore, I know that my dichromate undergoes reduction. Now, the oxidation state for oxygen in hydrogen peroxide is a minus 1. Oxidation state for oxygen in element is 0. So you notice there's an increase in oxidation state for oxygen. So therefore, oxygen or hydrogen peroxide is oxidized. Now, what is important for us to take note of is for redox reaction, one species must undergo oxidation and one species must undergo reduction. So, it is not possible for us to have both species reduced or both species oxidized. Now that we are determining who is oxidized and reduced, what we can do is we can balance each of these half equations independently. Now, in this case, we assume that the reaction occurs in acidic medium. So, for the first half equation, I'm balancing my chromium. Left hand side I have 2 chromium, right side I also need to have 2 chromium. Second step is to balance oxygen using water. Left hand side I have 7 oxygen, so right hand side I also need to have 7 oxygen. Third step is to balance hydrogen using H. Right hand side I have 14 hydrogen, so left hand side I need to have 14 H. Pluses. After that, I need to balance the charge using the electron. If you consider the charges in this case, this is a minus 2 charge plus 14 charge. Overall, left hand side will be a plus 12 charge. Right hand side, you have 2 of this plus 3 charge. So, overall charge is a plus 6 on the right hand side. So, left hand side, I have more positive charges. I need to add electrons on the left hand side. So, in this case, I need to add 6 electrons on the left hand side. So this will be the reduction half equation for dichromate. Now for the second half equation, the idea is the same. Now there are no other elements other than hydrogen and oxygen. So straight away we'll jump to the second step. We'll balance oxygen using water. What you notice in this case is there are two oxygens on the left hand side, two oxygens on the right hand side, so oxygen is balanced. So the third step will be balancing hydrogen using H+. Left hand side I have two hydrogen. Right hand side, I need two H pluses. Then after that, I need to balance charge using electron. Left hand side is neutral. Right hand side, plus two charges. So I need to add electrons on the right hand side. So this is how we write down the oxidation half equation of my hydrogen peroxide. Now before we add the two half equations together, just a concept to go through. Now remember reduction is defined as the gain of electrons. So actually it's reflected here in this half equation. You notice the electrons are on the left hand side of my half equation. Similarly, oxidation is defined as the loss of electron. So therefore, you notice in this case the half equation, the electrons are on the right hand side of the half equation. Now that I have the two half equations balanced, what I need to do next is to combine the two half equations together. Now in order for me to add the two equations together, what I need to do is I need to make sure that the total number of electrons on both sides of the equations are the same. Now in this case, the first equation, I have six electrons for my reduction half equation. I have only two electrons on my oxidation half equation. So for the uh, oxidation half equation, I need to multiply this entire coefficient by three so that I will have the same number of electrons for both my reduction half equation and oxidation half equation. 
Now what happens is when I multiply the oxidation half equation by 3 and when I combine the two half equations together, the electrons will cancel out. So when I combine the two half equations together, I'll have dichromine my 14H pluses my electrons actually will cancel out with the oxidation half equation so I can leave that out my hydrogen peroxide, now remember I need to multiply by 3 the products, my chromium 3 plus Seven water my three oxygen and my six H pluses. Now lastly what we need to do is we need to check both sides of the equation to see whether there are any common uh, species that we can cancel off. So you notice in this case, left hand side I have 14 H pluses, right hand side I have 6 H pluses, so I can simplify this overall equation. So this is how we balance the overall redox reaction by combining two half equations. If you have enjoyed this video, please share this with your friends. To learn more about H2 chemistry, please subscribe to my YouTube channel, follow me on Facebook, Instagram, or Twitter. If you want to know more about my H2 chemistry classes at Nishan, please visit my website. Thank you for watching H2 Chem Hacks. I hope I've made H2 chemistry simple for you. I'll see you next time.